welcome to Finding Your Flow class. It's an online fashion maneuver class with me, Ikue. How are you guys doing today? It's July 15, 2025, 2024. It's a step 25 day. How are you guys doing today? My name is Ikue. If you are new to Human Garage, I'm just going to type my name and I want to um, let me know where you guys are tuning from. I'm just going to type my name and uh, advertise my facelift class. <laughs> so I'm just going to type it in. Okay, Pina Pasha. Hi, hello everyone. Let me know where you guys are tuning from and how you guys feeling. Maybe give me one word to describe your day. So I'm on two platforms. One is from Human Garage and one is from in in Ikue Dancer. So I just pin the comments so you guys know when you like my uh when you like my class please follow me yeah if you have any questions i can bring people in melbourne los angeles how's your energy today i'm like sweating <laughs> it's really hot but we um especially people in vancouver I'm, i live in vancouver canada we waited for this for such a long time you know toronto you right like we have like you know if you live in canada we have a long winter like we you know you basically rains a lot and snows a lot. Austin, Texas. Oh, we were. I was just there for um world tour kickoff tour for Human Garage, and that uh, um I really liked Austin, Texas. It's uh you know when I as soon as I was born and raised in Japan, so I know what Canada is from a different point of view. And every time I go from Canada to USA, it's just the whole vibe changed. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Kansas City. Yes, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> That's what Sensei Christopher says on Serious Joy. Sacramento, California. Are you guys very new to Human Garage? <laughs> so a lot of stuff that I didn't I mentioned, but you didn't understand. That's okay. Um, uh, if you're new to Human Garage and Fashion Maneuvers, welcome. My name is Sikwe. My name sounds like eco-friendly, eco-way. So can, you can remember my name. Love Vancouver, yes. <laughs> Lancaster, Lancaster. Cash, did I pronounce it right? England. Very new, yes. So Human Garage used to have a clinic in Venice Beach, California. And one of the co-founders of uh, Human Garage, as you know, Gary, he used to have a clinic and then they, he closed the clinic and uh, we started a human garage 2.0 and when i was introduced to human garage it's almost been four years it was september 2020 so he has changed my body and my face and my outlook on life and i'm fully believing i'm just a fascia fanatics <laughs> if you're new to human garage um you, you're welcome. Like, I'm very happy to have you guys. Australia, Palmento. So this class is online. Feel free to ask me any questions you have. We're just going to move. And this is like a little bit of introduction to fashion maneuvers. Every coach is a bit different. But my, <coughs> my background is dancer. I've been a dancer over 20 years. And I teach dance. So I have a lot of movement practice. And I love spirituality, so I love combining that practice, fashion maneuvers, movement, and spirituality because it's like connecting the dots, right? Knowing more about who you are, and uh, by and plus for me, I'm studying astrology through Serious Joy. Really helped me understand who I am and why I came here for. So when you are new to Human Garage, welcome to the gateway of your self healing. First of all, you need to reduce your stress and reduce your inflammation. And we have fashion maneuvers, it's a tool. And as we do that, you notice, you know, fixing your hydration and move your fascia, clean up your environment and be aware of what you eat, what you drink. And you started to notice the patterns that got you where you are. So if you have patterns, whether that's a physical pattern, any pension, any pain inside of your body, you're not alone. We're all here to transmute that energy. Also, your pattern exists in our subconscious, right? 
And so as you unwind the fascia, we started to notice those patterns and so that we can make change, make a change, respond differently. So that's why we're here. I already um, dropped some of the peppermint oil. It's actually good because I'm literally sweating. I don't want to turn on the fan because uh, it will cause some noise. So if you feel like it, if you don't have any peppermint oil or any type of oil, really, I would like to start my class with the fascia coffee. So I put some drops and create some heat and let's move our fascia small i put a lot of different oils so i'm smelling differently then i just go around my aura good okay so we're gonna do fascia coffee fascia coffee help us activate the layers of fascia fascia how you can connect with fascia it's kind of like establishing a connection with your own body so when you touch your body, touch your fascia. Touch your skin, that is a touch of fascia. It's like, hello fascia. Can I touch you? I already touched it, but can I touch you? And saying yes, that's the power of saying yes, right? And then once you connect with that, so let's just touch. When you set it to chew into your body, you may feel pulsating. Hello Haruka. You may feel some pulsating sensation or tingly sensation. You feel the heartbeat. That's when you know you can connect with your, with your fascia. Fascia is your structure. Fascia is your matrix. Fascia is your spider webs. Lots of definitions out there. It's all over your body that holds everything inside. Your muscles, bones, meridians, nerves, glands, lymphatic passages everything exists inside of a fascia we're about to open the fascia so you can create more space inside of our body inside of us okay let's take your right hand and left hand palm up we're gonna start with your left shoulder we're gonna touch the skin flip it over we're gonna do the same movement three times a lot of fascia maneuver moves we do things in three six and so on because, you know, as Nikola Tesla said, <laughs> those are the magic number to connect with the secret of the universe, right? You gotta believe it, whether you understand it or not. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in the world is basically unknown, right? You gotta trust, but also, it's kind of like the truth comes from the knowingness. In order for us to tune into our intuition and receive messages, it's very important to clean the filter, clean the layers of fascia because outside simile comes in and inspire us. And it's our choice to do something with that inspiration. And so you want to clean the filter and this is how, this is one of the ways to do this. So let's do a right hip, left hip, upper motion. And we're doing a circular motion. If you notice, this is the opposite direction of digestion. And let's do our legs all the way down to your feet. And inside legs, we're just touching and giving some attention that our skin, our fascia needs. Thank you, body. And then when you notice some sensation, tension, or even frustration about your body. We're gonna be patient with ourselves. We are all learning how to be patient with ourselves, with our body, with the world around us. And because, let's go to the back of the legs. One, two, three. And let's do our chest. Because every action that we take, before we every action that we take, there's an emotion, right? We don't take any action without the intention or without the emotion. So emotion drive us to take actions. Without emotion, there is no action. So sometimes we think that, oh, we, we wanna be happy and we're gonna be happy when happy things come. But let's not forget the power of setting the intention. And then the emotions. Because the feelings are super important. As we move our fascia, know that fascia stores tensions and trauma. And as we pay attention to fascia and thank our brain, thank our body, thank our fascia, thank you for holding all this tension, patterns, trauma. 
I'm learning to love all parts of ourselves. And I am learning to all <laughs> learning to love all parts of myself and collectively, individually. Let's go for a walk. So uh, in the, during the class, we walk and integrate. This is how we know. Because uh, how we know how to integrate or change. So fascia is a water balloon, biohydraulic tubes all around us. It's a water. There's a pressure system. In order for us to bring more change, we need to change the pressure in water inside of us, and that is basically our fascia. So that's why we do a lot of twisty moves. <laughs> that's why we do a lot of bendy moves. More twists, you can imagine, we can bring more pressure change, and that's exactly what we want. That's a principle, one of the principles of fascia maneuvers, working with fascia. Fascia likes twisty moves, and also fascia likes to move slow yes <laughs> okay shake your hands and so if you guys are interested finally it's out i am having an online fascial facelift class called fascial face glow i'll be sharing more about the secret of how to work with fascia but one of the secret is to move like octopus <laughs> when you look at an octopus it's very flowy fluid and adaptive and all parts of a cell has a consciousness and then we need to break the pattern that we have we all have patterns right <laughs> but we need to remind ourselves we're not a robot we're not two-dimensional we actually walking moving 3d so that's why this twisty moves are super important and when you look at an octopus i've seen a video of where octopus randomly punch a fish like this boom <laughs> so when you look at the momentum octopus can be so flowy but octopus can still you know be tight as a steel in millisecond that is fascia right there so that is her fascia anything is possible we're just opening up our possibility fascia is powerful okay so as I'm moving this, <laughs> kind of my way to cleanse the aura too. Fascia also expands outside of our body. It's everything that connects within us and outside. Okay, so any parts, maybe type in the comment if you have any tight area that you want to work through, lower back, head, <laughs> neck, shoulders. <laughs> but I like to start from the wrist. So as you're typing, let's go take your right hand and left, left hand out and gently push your fingers towards you and elongate. Let's move. Yeah, hips are tight. I've been feeling that today. Definitely. Let's check some range of motions and start moving in figure eight. Figure eight, figure eight. Fascia likes to move with breath. So we're just moving, moving. Yes, mid back, left hip. Yeah, I'm feeling on the right hip. <laughs> also, there's a reason. Uh, I'm a dancer. I do. I have done many styles, but when I teach, it's mostly street styles. Like I, you know, I I come across come across very soft <laughs> because of my voice, and so when people see me dance, they, they normally get really surprised at how I dance. But I do hip hop, and I do some like very feminine empower dance like whacking and voguing and do a lot of posing and stuff like that but um uh, my point of uh the conversation is <laughs> i forgot oh i haven't taken ballet class for a while and i decided to go back to ballet and i did a lot of obviously with that you know ballet rule of a like standing on the tippy toes i did most of the work so i'm definitely feeling that <laughs> i know Muscles do not get tight, but the fascia gets tight. Fascia around the muscles get tight and restrict the movement. So I can literally feel when I do some activities and next day I feel in the area where the, there is a tension in the fascia. It's like, so exactly I can map it out in my body so I know what to work on. Let's bring your arms up. Turn your head right and left. <sighs> Open up your chest, drop your shoulders. Now collapse your arms, your chest. 
Yes, right toes. <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah, for me, it's left toe. I will talk more about that toe, what we present. Let's turn your wrist outside. Keep pressing down your fingers and find your spinal pivot lock. So I didn't mention it, I just mentioned it, but it's about finding your center, just like when you do yoga, when you do, you know, ballet, dance, it's very important to find your core. Squeeze your belly button into the spine, elongate, elongate. Now, do you save this video? Yeah, I'm gonna be posting this on, um, on my Instagram, so make sure to uh, follow me, Ikue Dancer. Okay, open your feet shoulder width, and lift your right shoulder up and turn your head to the left. And now squat, bend your knees, knees over your, over your toes and slowly fold your body towards your right knee. And once you get there, we're gonna breathe together. Breathe in, through your mouth, out of the mouth. Two, three, through your nose, two, Three. Now let's cross your left foot behind your right foot. If you can, let's go deeper into your squat. Squeeze your belly button, let's send some air into your lower back. Breathe in. Two. Three. Through your nose. Two. Three. Slowly come up, gently. Shake yourself and let's grab this game and gently pull, pin the fascia, lock it and give yourself a little twist. So pull it down, twist, it doesn't matter which way and create some space around your wrist and start moving your hands. So if you do a lot of computer work, this is super quick but super powerful to move. So let's move around. This is uh, awesome to release your tension from your wrists, also your shoulders and your neck. And as you know, everything is connected. So when you relax your wrists, actually you get to relax your toes and your ankles. Everything is connected. Good, okay. My hands are more octopusy. <laughs> okay, let's try the other side. Let's take your left hand forward and take your right hand and gently push your fingers towards you. And can you do when you're injured and in pain? Yes, exactly. And then just do it very gently. We are all learning to listen to our body, but if you are, you know, if you sort of, you know, uh, have a lot of injuries and haven't done much for yourself. Um, you are kind of disconnected with your body, so you don't know when to stop sometimes. Right? And uh, um, you know, we want to be, you know, we want our body to cooperate with us. So it's not about forcing. You need to understand allowing the body to, f allowing the body to open. So just go really gentle with yourself. Let's bring your arms up. Turn your head right and left. So understand the difference between forcing versus allowing. You want to allow the body to open, not the forcing. Because no one wants to do, you know, no one wants to be told what to do. Same thing with our body, <laughs> right? We don't want to be forward. Our body want, doesn't want to be forced. So you just have to learn a good negotiation skill, cooperation skill with your body. And so appreciate, be grateful with our body first, right? Thank you, body, for being here and making me survive and alive. Let's lift your left shoulder up, turn your head to the right, bend your knees, and slowly fold your body towards your left knee. Feeling the lower back opening up. If you can go further, let's go deeper into squat with your mouth. Two. Three, through your nose, two, three. Let's cross your right leg behind your left foot, breathe your mouth, two, three, through your nose, two, three, gently come up. 
If you feel lightheaded, that's a common sensation of doing fascia maneuvers. It means stress leaving your body, so that's a good thing. Let's pin the fascia, give yourself a little twist, and let's start moving around, articulating everything. If you're living fight or flight, or if you have a stressful day, it's very important to bring yourself back to the present moment by breathing, right? Remember to breathe. And release. Okay, let's relax the shoulders. Okay, let's go into some hips. And uh, just to save time, I'd like to do some sequence, so just bear with me and let's open up our hips. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling the pain. So something that I'm working on, I noticed that one day, I was doing fascia maneuvers consistently. It really helps me. It has helped me, but at the same time, I stopped doing some of the exercises. And I was, I started to have a little bit of, um like stressful events, something that uh, came out to me, uh, happened to me, and uh, it helped me evolve and grow at the same time. My ego had a hard time processing those things. And, and one day I noticed, and I also had to move, so this is a relatively, <laughs> when you see the background, if you look at my old videos, my background is different because I move into a new place. And uh, all of these changes that are happening inside, and outside of my life it really got my body tight like tight <laughs> and i noticed that one day it's like wow i could eat very well and work on my fascia and do fixing my hydration managing my stress but even that if you're if my emotions are so strong and i'm having a hard time processing i can still find myself at the right same place where I started which means the pattern stays there you know when you were introduced to human garage started to go through life reset going through one day three day seven reset 28 day reset and it's like wow like my life has changed so much and I'm very grateful but then pattern stays there until you until we really start to respond differently. So everyone, we are on the right track. It will come, you know, um, all the patterns is there. And um, when the energy comes, we can only break those patterns when we respond differently. And that's why it's very important to keep managing their stress, manage our stress in control, so that when those lessons come back, we can make a different change right we can do something different so now I have my own pattern <laughs> that is unwinding not necessarily pain is a bad thing because pain giving us clue so the word pain maybe comes with some stereotypic ideas negative sensations and emotions but pain is really a blessing right because without pain we don't know what's wrong with us <laughs> And come to think of it, this pattern already existed, maybe from your childhood, maybe from past life, who knows? But these patterns start calling on to by the rules of laws of attraction, and we're bringing those patterns, and if you don't process it, and it's like, okay, I'm just gonna store those patterns and emotions for now, and then next time we come back, hopefully we can make a change. And then over time, in our teenage years and in our 20s and 30s, it just gets bigger and bigger, those patterns, because we don't change it, right? So I feel that I'm actually in my early uh, 40s, and I feel that it's the patterns that, you know, it's getting more noticeable, <laughs> noticeable and undeniable. <laughs> That's when I know it's like, I gotta do something about it. So let's do a big sequence opening up our hips, so just follow with me. So let's uh, find a hip flexor. Take your right, take your hands and find that skin above your hip flexor. Pull the skin up, push your hips forward, opening that up. Feel that opening of this psoas. There's a stomach meridians, liver meridians go here. It's time for us to open up our right side that represents our masculine side and left side is a feminine side. 
So let's go. Step with your left foot forward in a lunge. And push your hips forward. And start giving yourself a little twist. Fascia likes to move slow. So really work on that process between the movement from point A to point B. That's where the power is. So let's really tune into our body. Feel it out. When you find a sticky spot, that's where your body wants to go, right? It's being uncomfortable is not a bad thing. It's our, the clue that our body is giving to us. Okay. Now, turn your body to the left. It might be a little louder, <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn your head to the right, push your hips forward. Let's breathe through your mouth. Inflate yourself, two, three, through your nose, two, Three. Ooh, I feel it. Let's move around. Now keep your left hand on that area. Take your right hand, and I want you guys to grab your butt <laughs> or any of the tailbone and lift. It's kind of like articulating, isolating the right side of your hip, and just move around together with your hips. Let's see if you can isolate your right. And feel free to do a um, little bit of circular movement in figure eight. Maybe you wanna tilt your pelvis backwards and forward. Whoa, my hip popped. <laughs> Move around. And to add more contrast, let's add the rotation of your head. So let's breathe your mouth. Two. Three, who knows? Two, three, shake it up. Your hands may be tired. Okay, let's go into the left side. Step with your right foot, take your hands and go into that skin above your hip flexor. Pull the skin up. If you feel tightness, that's okay. If you're going through some um, hard time. I noticed that for the last one week or so, people are reporting to me that a lot of people have left their circle, like a friendship circle, or some people literally passed away, or a lot of change is happening. I think people are choosing, like, you know, I was told that there were three Earths <laughs> and Earth is splitting. Anyways, depending on where we choose to live, uh, according to vibration. And I think we are also, everyone is choosing the frequency where we live. And it's very important that, you know, honor everyone's journey at the same time. It's very important to keep our spirit high, taking care of ourselves, clean, clean, cleanse this filter, the layers of fascia so that we can perceive things, perceiving, perceive things in the most joyful, expansive way, but also you can really leave your purpose and why you came here for. So let's believe in ourselves and step with your right foot and start moving in any way you like moving moving imagine the life when all this pain and discomfort is gone you know <laughs> or maybe you live with the pain and then appreciating the pain and know that it shall pass it's everything is there for us to for us to grow everything is opportunity let's push your hips forward Twist your body to the right and head to the left. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Through your nose. Two. Three. Very good. Same thing. Keep your right hand on the area. Take your left hand. Let's grab your butt. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of twist and move around. Isolate the left side of your hips. Move around. Keep finding some sticky spot when you have one. 
and let's add some rotation of your head. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Three nose. Two. Three. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. <laughs> Let's see. quickly integrate that by moving your wrists in figure A. How are you guys feeling? If you're feeling a little calm, that's awesome. Okay, let's go into some elbow twerk. Take your right hand and place on your left shoulder. Take your left hand and let's twist the skin. This will help you with frozen shoulders and all the shoulder pain, neck pain, it help you. Now take your right hand and let's hook. So under the clavicle, I hope you guys can see me. I'm just gonna use it and bring my arms up as much as I can. And squeeze your belly button into your spine and slightly look to your right and start moving in anywhere. I like to do a movement first. Think of tackling every angle, every direction. So using that circular movement, think of figure eight, infinity. And let's see if you are feeling that adventurous. You can cross your legs, you can even go squat. Sometimes less is more too, so you can stay there too. Feeling that layers of fascia, when you feel some tightness on your neck, you wanna stay there, you may stay there, that's okay. Okay, once you find a spot, let's go deeper into that. If you feel some gliding sensation inside of the fascia, inside of your skin, that is fascia opening up. Let's do six breaths together, breathing. Two, three, three nose, two, three, and slowly hold on. Ah, shake it off. Feeling the sensation coming up. Maybe quickly swing your arms side to side. If you're having a hard time pressuring your fascia, that's okay. There are many ways you can even use the tools, tools like gloves, or uh, if, you have, if you have like medicine ball to help you, and then twist <laughs> so you can add some extra pressure. How are you guys feeling? Happy summer, I feel a little bit lighter. The more you embrace the emotions and triggers, the more they relax and resolve. That's beautiful, Haruka, thank you. Yeah, I'm learning to um, I'm learning to embrace all parts of myself, even the unlovable parts of myself that I think um, are unlovable, because I notice that that's where my pattern is. Because you know we want to live the life we want to live, but something is in the way, and most likely that's us, <laughs> right? It's in the way of healing too. Right, so we are all learning. Suddenly, I'm too tired to watch this now. Late for me, however, I wanted to come and said, I love you, human garage. I've been doing fascia work the last two months and it's changing my life. Yes, it has changed my life too. Thank you guys for being here. That's awesome. Okay, let's do the other side. Take your left hand and place on your right shoulder. Take your right hand and twist the skin on your left elbow and pick the direction that is tight. Sometimes you, sometimes you can't really tell. In that case, just pick a spot, <laughs> pick the direction. And now take your left hand and hook using your thumb, left thumb and a hook and bring, it, bring your arms up. Go gently, notice that, you know, again, notice the difference between forcing and allowing. Your body is not an enemy you want your body to be your ally. <laughs> so movement, more movement, more relaxed, all about that pattern at the moment. Yes, but we're all breaking the pattern and creating and programming a new pattern. And you know when the best time to program? That's when our body feels safe and calm. We're always 
programming in a sense, right? But what are we programming? <laughs> because, you know, when we are programming something that we don't want and then we call on to that pattern one more time until we make a new change. But it's okay to make mistakes. I think we are all learning to be kind to ourselves because somehow we were programmed to almost brainwash to be perfect all the time, but that's not the case. I am learning to be kind to myself and more patient. <laughs> and now let's find a good sticky spot. Turn your head to the left, breathe your mouth. Two, three, your nose. Two, three. Release. Let's go for a walk. And everything is so connected. So I said, let's walk on the lower back, but I went to the shoulder because what happens to our body is when your shoulders are pressing down, then you cannot open that up, right? So that's why it's super important. Okay, let's uh, move our legs quickly. Okay, thank you guys for being here. <laughs> okay, I have a chair. You may want to um, sit on the floor, that's okay. And what we're gonna do is quickly work on the ankle. That will also help you with the lower back. Sometimes the pain, where the pain comes from, is not the roots of the pain. The roots of a pain normally from somewhere else. And so it's good to work on from outside and know that everything is connected. And then that's the truth. <laughs> so let's work on the right wrist. So the skin above your um, ankle, I hope you can see me. And if you grew up doing snake bite, it's like you're twisting someone's uh, arms. It's actually super good for you, twisting snake bite. But you have to do that with an intention that it this helps you, <laughs> helps you. So I understand the balloon concept. And you just grab the skin however you like and pull the skin towards you and push your foot away from you and let's move your foot in any way that feels good. And when you feel that little burning sensation from your skin, just observe that it's a good thing. It's fascia is opening up. So feel that tension. That's okay. Just be kind to ourselves. Thank you, pain. All emotion. We say that pain over, you know, uh, like scale of one to 10, the pain over two pain is actually all emotional right so when you think about that every physical pain start with some type of discomfort but at the same time at the end of it it's all emotional and emotions are energy emotion it's literally the energy coming into herself as an outside stimuli and it's our job to process I see emotions as something that feed us and makes us alive as long as we are on earth. I started to use this uh, visualization of our body being the accommodation or the hotel for energy, energy emotions to come. Let's slide our hands closer to the shin and now we're just working on fascia anywhere that I feel tight and I'm just talking. So, Energy emotion comes and as an energy, that's an emotion. And it's a pure light, right? It has a frequency, but comes to the surface of our skin and it show up as an, a sensation inside, um, outside of us. And as you go through the layers of fascia, those emotions go through. I feel like the layers of fascia are the filter of our body. And as the light goes through, the energy, everything is frequency, go through that layers of fascia. When your fascia have tightness or some certain patterns, create the distortion of that energy. So when you filter it out and feel it inside of our body, it becomes a feeling. Feelings of anger, feelings of anxiousness, and feeling of, um, could be sadness, feeling of joy. 
right? But when the emotions comes, our job is to accommodate those emotions without, without discriminating against them. <laughs> You can have preferences, that's what I started to say, right? You can have preference, I like joy more than anger, right? But when the emotion comes, our job is to accept all emotions and feed them, you know? Give them what they want because this is our hotel, this is our accommodation for the emotions. And we give our best hospitality for them. Let's go to the back of your knees and work on the hamstrings. You can interlock your hands and pull that skin. And that emotions stay in our body at a certain time, right? Some emotion likes to be fed. <laughs> so then we will eat some food, right? Some emotion uh, wants to sleep, then we'll, we'll, uh, we try to sleep, right? We'll give them what they want. And some emotion, makes us want to have a party and then we'll have a party and but we give any emotions what they want and once the emotions are fed and provided and taken care and the emotions are able to charge itself once the emotion gets charged it goes through our body and leave our body and the next emotion comes as a guest right so that's how I feel that's what emotions are and sensation that I feel in my body and what are the feelings inside of me. And feelings are felt and judged and distorted by the, our perception, which is our fascia, the layers of fascia. So let's work on the left leg. So everything is so connected, right? So it's not even a ooh, -ooh anymore. <laughs> The consciousness when you just go you know you can find where that spirituality and science totally get connected it's it's the truth it's it's us right we're all learning where to belong what to believe and when you believe the unknown trust the unknown when you pass that point that becomes the knowingness you just know that this to be true because you feel so inside of your body. In order to do that, you need to cleanse our body, cleanse our vehicle so that we can perceive things better. We all, we are at the quick, crit, critical time in our human history. This is our time to really collaborate and move forward and then raise our spirit and help each other, help ourselves first because you can't help other people if you're not helping yourself first. <laughs> and then my leg says, hi. <laughs> okay, so let's do the hamstrings. And you can also do the knees, super powerful. You can do, uh, use your knees, so basically place your skin, place your hands on your knee and twist the skin this way, like that. And you can literally sit there and engage your spinal fibula lock. I'm just going to face this way so you can see me better. And if you, if you hold it for like, you know, it gets shorter and shorter, but um, maybe this is your first time, you may wanna hold it for five minutes or so. When you get tired, you don't have to twist it so hard. Um, as you work with your fascia, you need it, you started to understand how you work with fascia, which is you need to have um, strong firm grip for yourself yeah my toe feels numb with this fascia maneuver twisting the ankle oh that's good yeah numbing sensation is not necessarily a bad thing sometimes you feel numbness when the fascia is opening up it's a, it's a weird feeling <laughs> yeah tingly sensation too initially i heard the story from gary that you know, when Gary was going through some initial stage of, maybe not initial stage, but initial early stages of awakening, and he was experiencing a numbness on his hand, and he just like couldn't, you know, get tested, and doctors couldn't identify what that was, and it just, he felt so uncomfortable all the time. How come his hands were weird? 
and later on he realized that that was his fascia hand fascia opening up so if you feel that real sensation just trust the process but you you can really trust the process when you're doing the right thing right so uh, right thing would be that's what we provide um, you need to start really hydrate yourself properly with our silica minerals and vitamins silica is our base element Let's move our chair. Silica is our base element to allow us to absorb minerals and vitamins. Without the sufficient silica, minerals, and vitamins, our body cannot absorb water. And uh, water um, is a universal solvent that helps, um, you know, basically every drop that you drink, the water takes up the minerals. And, but also at the same time, it's very important that it gets your silica so that all the minerals and vitamins can be binded and absorbed into our body. And you can take water so that whatever you're taking, you can absorb into your body. But if without those three things, whatever, it doesn't matter what you eat, what you drink, nothing get absorbed into your body. Yeah, both arms numb last two days. Hmm. Yeah, it's time to open that up. Okay, let's do totally twisted. This is our... Um, how are you guys feeling, by the way? <laughs> we walked on the legs. I feel definitely a little lighter. And the reason why I said totally twisted, I feel like it's just gonna, you know, we worked on here, worked on here, and worked on our legs. And as we open up a little bit here and there, here and there, now it's time for us to do some powerful dynamic moves. So we'll get you, you know, um, think of uh, many ways to, um, so all the maneuvers can be modified, but when you do totally twisted, think of this, there's a center and there's a spiral. Spinal pivot lock, create this line, create this line, and we're gonna add the powerful spiral. When you think of like uh, Kundalini almost, right? So powerful twist, more twist the better, more twist the better. So instead of like playing with the angles like this, just think of like more twist, more twist, more twist, to twist and wing your body like a towel, and that's our goal. That's the help with fibromyalgia. Yes, 100%. There are so many people that have been reporting that um, they were reversing, and but also, you know, it's a lot to do with the emotion that's stored in that. Basically, all the patterns, all the symptoms are the clue and giving us um, information what we have been holding on to. And for us to unwind, you need to first manage your stress, reduce your inflammation. We have um, amazing uh, supplements, Power Kirk for that. And start hydrating your body with silica minerals and then do fashion maneuvers. And as you calm yourself down, as you're creating this new cycle of stress management, you know, new stress management, if you're not so living in fear, when you live, started to live here, perception goes up. You can raise your vibration. And with that level of consciousness, you started to see the patterns that are hurting us. So it's time for us to really not necessarily face the pattern, but really understand the pattern. Why is there? Thank you, body, for whole, all, holding all this trauma. And I'm learning to love the part of myself that I had no idea how to love <laughs> so let's see our body in zones one two three we're going to take our right hand and right foot take your right hand and place underneath your left armpit left hand on top of your right shoulder and take your right hand and cross your right foot over your left foot you hug yourself really tight and drop your shoulders find your solid center we're learning to create the solid foundation rather than being rigid or stern <laughs> that's something that those are different right so words are powerful i'm learning to be more solid and fluid and uh, so can i create the structure of freedom i have good structure but that my structure which is my fascia needs to be fluid and adaptive and solid but when you only go on the other side, I mean, I get caught up with my patterns and that becomes, I get rigid. So I'm learning to flow, move like water, and we are moving water inside of ourselves. So let's turn your head to the left and rip cage to the right. Push your tongue to the left cheek. Breathe through your nose. Six times. Two. 
three, four, five, six. Drop your time. We're gonna do three stage breath for your mouth breathing. Two, three. Hold the breath. Body more to your right. Exhale. Second time. Two, three. Hold. Body more to your right. Exhale. Third time. Two, three. Hold. Body more to your right. Exhale. Three of those. Out from the mouth. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very good. Slowly come back to center. Turn your head to the right and body to the left. When you calm down your body, if you allow your body to open, you notice that you can twist more. So understand the difference between forcing and allowing. You want to allow your body to open. Thank you, body. Show some gratitude. Push your tongue to the right cheek with your nose. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Very good. Drop your tongue with your mouth. Two, three. Hold the breath. Body to the left. Exhale. Second time. Two, three. Hold. Body to the left. Exhale. Third time, two, three, hold, body to the left, exhale, through your nose, out from the mouth, two, three, four, five, six, Very good. Breathe your mouth. Hold the breath and fold your body forward as much as you can. And breathe out. Keep looking to the right, body to the left. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Feel free to bend your knees to your nose. Two. Three. Almost there. Turn your head to the left, body to the right. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Two nose. Two. Three. Give yourself a little figure eight. Slowly, safely come back. Ooh. Feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> we did this, we did one side of totally twisted. Hello everyone. If you're feeling good, type in the comment. I feel a little calmer. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's <sighs> turn into our body, shake it off, shake it off. When you calm down your body, body allows you to twist more. It's like, oh I can go more. I can go more. It's kind of like pushing the envelope, right? Universe is a forever expanding being. And it's like, okay, can I go more? Can I move more? Calm and hot. Yeah, that's good. That's a good combination. Calm and hot. Calm and hot. Calm and hot. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side. Take your left hand and place it underneath your right armpit. Take your right hand and place it on your left shoulder. Hug yourself. I describe pasha maneuvers being... Um, Basically, it's a self-love slow dance. I love myself and I love myself more, right? And I was just like bringing back to a present moment because, you know, I think throughout that day, we, we experienced so many emotions 
and we are accommodation for those emotions and we judge yourself and we feel unsafe or maybe some emotions triggers us some incident trigger us but it's all the learning triggers are the um, clues right for us to live the life can we start using those emotions as an advantage rather than harming us it's 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 all self-awareness in order for us to do so you know we we need to really start taking care of ourselves taking care of our time taking care take some time look at this later yes twist start trigger muscle tightening and sticking yeah so that's most likely you know you are new to uh, fashion maneuvers also when you first started fashion maneuvers you most likely started um, are dehydrated so when you have a lot of dehydration fascia wraps around the muscles and bones and it just restrict the movement so you're feeling like the muscles are cramping up but it's just fascia feel threatened so it's all about creating the safe space for the fascia to open so it's also start with an intention it's also start with the world tell yourself i am safe and protected what i do helps me also where i am is enough where i am is safe that's feeling sensational of safety is so important and help us open up our body and we have all the power at the end of it we are the only people that could help heal ourselves right let's trust that process okay back to that circle left hand underneath your left armpit sorry left hand underneath your right armpit right hand on the top of your left shoulder let's cross your left foot over your right and turn your head to the right and body to the left. Push your tongue to the right cheek with your nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Three stays breath through your mouth. Two, three, Inflate yourself, body more to your left, and exhale. Second time. Two, three, hold, body to your left, exhale. Third time. Two, three, hold, body to the left, exhale. Through your nose. Ah, from the mouth. Two, Slowly come back to center, turn your head to the left and body to the right. Before I do the other side, I'd like to mention that you don't have to look like me. You don't have to do fashion maneuvers that how it looks like. Pay attention to inside. We are embody. This is how I feel like inside. So let's focus on that sensation. Push your tongue to the left cheek with your nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Drop your tongue with your mouth. Two, three. Hold the breath. Body to the right. Exhale. Second time. Two. Three, hold, body to the right, exhale. Third time, two, three, hold, body to the right, exhale. Through your nose, up and up. Two, three, almost there. Four, Five, six, breathe your mouth, hold the breath, let's forge your body forward and breathe out. Feel free to bend your knees, keep your, turn, keep your head to the left, body to the right, breathe your mouth. Two, three, hold, 
three. Three nose. Two. Three. Turn your head to the right, body to the left, with your mouth. Two. Three. Three nose. Two. Three. Slowly take your time to come up. It's five o'clock sharp. Let's integrate the change. Ooh. How are you guys feeling? I feel calm and feel lighter. You know, as you go through this journey, you notice that you can sort of map it out, map out where your fascia is tight and where your fascia is more flowy. And it's all part of the process, right? I see my tension and pain as where I didn't know my shadow side and where I need some inner work and I need to love that part of myself more and more. So, but the only way for us to move forward is to really accept that part of ourselves. You know, thank you body, thank you tension, thank you pain, thank you tightness, thank you itchiness, all that, you know, help us understand more about life. And, um, I call those area also um, like almost like a wounded part of herself. Nothing is broken. It's a little bit damaged and a little bit wounded. <laughs> and that's why it's extra slow. And hello, high feather and low flow. So it's a bit slow, but it opens. So when you are patient enough, let's say when you place your hands intuitively on the area where the tightness is, it's kind of like establishing a connection with your fascia, especially on the tight area. Thank you, body, for holding all this trauma. I was ready to release. And let's, uh, you know, I am safe with you. You are safe with me. Establishing the connection of safety within our body, right? All parts of our body is giving us clues and love us so much and we just didn't know how or we were too busy looking outside of ourselves but we are learning to step into that because that's where the power is so let's appreciating our body what it does for us it's okay i'm i'm the same way i i'm like my hip is like is no you know going through it and i know this fear anger really got that's where I am but I know that as I it's unwinding because I am aware I am appreciating my lessons appreciating my emotions angers are beautiful too angers uh, help us help me take actions you know if you guys are interested you should watch um, uh, inside out too <laughs> it's really help us understand I love your instruction style thank you so much I really appreciate it Inside Out 1, talk about five basic emotions. You know, Riley is the main character. I think she was five years old or something. Joy, sadness, fear, disgust, anger. Those are five basic emotions. As we grow, and then Riley, the main character of Inside Movie, going to its teenage years, and now we have more layers of emotion. It's not limited to, but anxiety, envy, uh, burden, and uh, what is it? Embarrassment. And maybe nostalgia you know so all emotions are there and create that beauty the spectrum of rainbows that's create unique you know each one of us is so unique but I'm also we are integrating all those differences the layers of emotions and layers of feelings so that we can be whole in order for us to become whole is to become the light right light being Feeling light is actually feeling the light, right? <laughs> Shading the light on the area, have a little shadow, absent of light, you know, bringing some attention, bringing some love into that. Lifeful feelings, yeah, it's exactly. Feeling light, looking light, and feeling that you become the light. It's all connected. So this 
just remember we were just remembering who we are so thank you guys for being here if you like my content please follow me my name is Ikwe Ikwe Dancer and I am very excited to share this upcoming class on August 3rd um, it's um 9 a.m. KSC. Of course, if you can attend live, um, we're gonna be sending the uh, recording. But I'm doing this facial face glow class. <laughs> Teaches people how to connect with their face fascia, but fascia in general, of course, and work on the upper body. And um, if you're, you know, thinking like, oh, my face is changing, sagginess, wrinkles, and when fascia opens up and a proper technique you can reverse you can make however you want you know <laughs> so um yeah it's like i would love to you guys to see you there i am sharing a lot of stuff love your balancing maneuvers on youtube oh thank you so much for many mahalos yes going to sign up for the class right now so excited yes yeah it's gonna be a great class i'm very excited to share this and i'm very happy that you guys are here this class is um every monday at 4 a.m. PST. If you cannot attend, obviously I'm posting a recording on my Equidancer platform. And then also, um, if you're interested, I am um, doing this Instagram live, showing up every day, just talk stuff that comes up in my mind, practicing my public speaking. Uh, it's called Embody Your True Essence with me, Ikwe. And so, yeah, if you guys want to tune in, say hi. It's at 9 p.m. PST every single day and um, yes I, I love my time it's like I, I started to say it's a speaking meditation time always a great instruction all of them awesome and HD yes thank you I use some of the fashion maneuvers with my keto special needs seeing transformation that's super powerful you know are you on Oahu no <laughs> That's a bit thing. I take it as a, co a compliment. Uh, so I was born and raised in Japan, but I so I did not like tanning. You know how Asians like to have holding umbrella during summer, uh, but I know as I'm fixing my hydration, moving my fascia, I'm completely changed an idea and concept of you know getting the sun sun is actually helping me detox so i'm getting sun without you know have a different beliefs so i stop using sunscreen so i'm gonna go out and i feel in the sun <laughs> now i look like hawaiian <laughs> so that's what i was told so it's a compliment i own how oafu yeah so hawaii uh, but i'm i'm in uh, vancouver canada uh bc british columbia where human garage uh, 2.0 started and if you guys are coming for the trauma event, I would love to see you guys. Um, but anyways, I, I, I don't want to talk. Um, I don't want I don't want to. I need to go. You feel the light. Yes. But thank you guys for being here. And uh, let's um, let's move our fascia, transform our life. And if you are interested, sign up for a facelift class. But otherwise, I'm here. If you have any questions, I'm here. Message me and let's uh, let's uh, keep raising our spirit, you know, so thank you have a great day morning afternoon and see you guys soon bye